Hello, today I'm going to be talking about several different things about the hooks on the electric eel wheel 6. People really have liked these hooks, but it comes with four hooks and several people have been asking could they get some additional hooks, specifically because when it's spinning at high speed, sometimes this center part sort of bows out on the yarn. So if they could put in uh, six hooks instead of four hooks, they would appreciate that. This doesn't affect most people, but I wanted to accommodate this use case. Uh, however, I didn't have a bunch of extra hooks. So I just got an order in of a bunch of extra hooks. I'll sell them in packs of four on my store. They should be on my store right now. So if you were one of the people who had asked me about getting additional hooks, they're now on the store. In addition to just talking about that, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, these little black rings that come with the electric eel wheel six. A lot of people have asked, what are these for? And there's actually already four of them being used. If you haven't noticed yet, they're already on these sliding hooks here. Uh, basically to put them on to a sliding hook, you go like this, you just sort of stretch them over these two little micro hooks. And there you go. Now you can slide it onto the bar. And the reason I put these little O-rings on there is so that it doesn't slide. It gives it like the perfect amount of friction when you're sliding these hooks back and forth. Uh, the reason I include extra is I it's possible that they could eventually wear out. I actually did a lot of testing and I didn't have that problem, but they're pretty inexpensive. So rather than having customers have to go and find them if they do ever break, I just included a bunch of extra. As you can see in this pack of hooks, I include a bunch of extras as well. So that's all I have to say about the existing sliding hooks. One thing I did have in a previous video, this has been out for a while, this 3D printed part, but Basically, it's an adapter that fits into the hooks, and it's just like this. It's super quick to print. It just takes a few minutes to 3D print one of these. And the point of it is it just sort of snaps into the hook like this. And then once you've done that, it gives it a larger area for the yarn to rub against. And the reason that's useful is for really chunky yarn or inconsistent art yarns sometimes the yarn would get caught on these hooks this this thinner yarn like this a standard yarn uh, won't have any issues with these hooks but if you're trying to spin art yarn or maybe super coil yarn you can have some cases where it does get caught on these hooks and i made these 3d printed uh holders for the existing hooks so that uh, that would sort of address that so if you're you're spinning really chunky uh, maybe super coil yarn definitely check these out. I'll have a link to these 3D printed parts. As with all my 3D printed parts, I give away the files for free. And there's several stores now that uh, sell my, so you can uh, buy them uh, online or you can print them yourself, maybe at your local library. Another thing I just created is this hook. So this is um, just in case people want to experiment with different options. I made a 3D printed hook that's just one piece and it kind of clamps onto the bar. It has a really nice friction if it prints the same as it did on my printer at least. And you can choose the top or the bottom. I would suggest that if you're going to use these, you print out at least two. You could leave these, but it needs to be symmetric. You don't want to have one of these hooks over here and one of these hooks over here because uh, then the flyer won't be balanced. And at higher speeds, it'll start to cause vibrations. So you always want things symmetric. So you'll want, if you have one here, you want one here. Uh, if you have one here and one here, you'd want, you know, two over there as well. So uh, those are kind of the setups you can do with this hook. And uh, I did a really brief test and these hooks seem to work well, but uh, definitely uh, leave some feedback if you've got it. Thanks for watching.